you have a magnificent view on the table of my drill press. Now for this machine sometimes I use this vise for bigger work and this vise is perfectly flat on the table no problem. For smaller work I use this one and this one is perfectly flat on the table no problem either. For sm very small work sometimes I use this one but this one there is a problem is making rock and roll noises while I'm drilling and it's always sliding away so what I would like to do is rework these two surfaces and I think this is a beautiful project to do in the shaper now if we want to put the vise in the vise we'll see immediately there is a problem because these jaws open up not far enough so I cannot put this surface flush to this surface it's not possible that's not gonna work second problem is the clearance so this blue vise gonna take it off it's too high <coughs> if I want to use this vise on the shaper there's also a problem because this little vise can, cannot go deep enough to have this reference surface on this one and I cannot use the jaws because this one is moving and you will never have enough precision so vice number five is not an option I think the best way to go is to use a block I cleaned this up here on the shape a while ago this is in fact uh, some kind of uh, hydraulic system thing I don't even know what it is if I put my vise this way on this block and then of course well tied I have my reference service on this block that will be good now the best way is of course to cut in the length turn this way now we come to problem 17 the best way I think to fix this block to the shape is use the T-slots I have these bolts too short problem 18 the head of the bolt is gonna touch so it's never gonna fit I think there's only one solution left I think I found a better solution I have studs I have T nuts and I have some nuts and washers I think this is gonna work extremely well hold up fell down just have to cut it off the right length that will do 120 millimeters so 2 times 60 that will do Okay. Man, that's scary. Yeah. 
inside here there's a hole and the drill was just touching this side wall inside it's a very scary drilling but it worked that's good All that's left to do is mark here a little line, take it off again and then cut the studs so they are not in my way. I put cigarette paper here and another one here. Put the vise in place. Now when we feel this paper is stuck, we know that the vise is flush with this block. That will do. The cutting tool is going to move from this side to that side. So the clapper must always look in the direction of the feed. When you have the part like this, the clapper must turn away from the cut. Set the cutting speed on 15 meters per minute. This machine is now running at 60 strokes per minute. Thank <laughs> you. 
round nose tool in cast iron does a great job. It's really smooth. Just like baby. <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna take one more cut, two tenths of a millimeter, just try to clean this a little bit up. I had a little bit of chatter here in the beginning but uh, it seems okay all that's left to do now is give it a try <sighs> Perfect. That feels good. Thanks for watching.